Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So today we will talk about the difference between verification and validation testing. So in uh, interviews uh, we are mostly asked like what is the difference between this. Even though we have done this verification and validation testing, we can't explain this or the interview guys sometimes confuse us by asking the cross question. This concept is very simple but uh, I saw like most of the uh, people getting confused answering it. So watch this video till the end, I will explain it through the example, real life example. So I think uh, this concept will uh, get all clear. So let's start. So let's go with our previous example only, like where, wedding venue preparation. So when you have go to the wedding kitchen and you see like how they are preparing the food. So while preparing, so let's have different kind of food here, so he will enjoy it. So while preparing this food, uh, we see like when they are making uh, uh, ingredients, they used to test in between or sometimes some people come like a manager or whoever the main head of their uh, kitchen staff, he comes and checks one one item while preparing. So before that, they make sure like uh, what uh, menu we have decided, exact those are things we are making or not. So we have those ingredients or not. First, they will go through their checklist, then they will define like we have there, those many uh, items are there or not. And once uh, it is started preparing, he goes and uh, checks like uh, if uh, this is proper salt or not, if uh, this uh, pizza has whatever the toppings we have decided, we are preparing that or not. So those all things comes is the verification. So while doing the preparation, whatever the testing we are doing, that is actually uh, verification and for validation so once all these things are ready now uh, one of the person from the family or uh, they kitchen staff uh, start testing that how actually it looks like with pickle so like pizza with pickle or they try to eat pizza and check like okay this is uh, properly cooked or not or those are kind of things so this after making the product whatever we are doing is validation so this is how you can understand it but in software uh, world like how it goes let's try to understand this so now you will get like uh, what is verification and validation right so if you go to verification so the main thing or this uh, terminology is are we building the system right so whatever we are building, so we didn't build anything here. So whatever we are building is right. So that question we need to ask. So we this has different techniques like reviews, inspection, and static analysis. So oh, whenever uh, it comes with the menu again with the previous example, first of all it gets reviewed like is this thing we are capable to do or these are the checklist like whatever a client said and what we understand are equal or not. After that, some guy will prepare with the design. So once the design is done, the inspections are continued. Like whenever that product is being developed, uh, sometimes uh, like weekly or monthly or depends on the product size, the inspections comes and they check whatever they are making are proper or not. So most of the quality assurance team does this. So they keep on checking like, okay, salt uh, is uh, okay or not. Teomerico uh, uh, is okay or not. Whatever pickle we are decided that are we are doing or not. So those kind of things, they are keep checking. So in our software also, like if an app is being developed, so they check, okay, we decided for gray button. So they are doing uh, uh, gray button or not. They have put it gray buttons or not. So or oh, this form so they have this many fields so they are putting that many fields or not so that time only it getting decided so if something is uh, not there it will identify that time and uh, directly uh, we can fix that so once uh, uh, and we do static analysis static analysis is like uh, matching exact like okay this is things are should be done so when i put uh, username as uh, software testing and password as abc123 and put submit this to uh, to redirect me to the login uh, uh, to the uh, allow me to login so this thing uh, will be a, a perfect getting analysis and they don't do dynamic anything but this makes your like we should have username field we should have password field we should have submit button with this size so we should have or not so this is like a, a verification so 
if you see uh, in verification this image is uh, courtesy to java t point so if you go to business requirement coding system design and system requirements so these are the uh, techniques we use to get the uh, verification done so customer requirement specification is like uh, inspections we do uh, at uh, interval of time and we have whatever specification we have that we do srs we check the specification and while system design and coding is also part like when you are doing coding you raise the prs and prs getting checked and they check okay it is uh, whatever the framework we have designed it is part of that or not it is following whatever the regulation they have decided or not so these many things comes a verification so once verification is done and uh, we are ready with the product we need to test that product that part comes under validation so in validation we are asking is are we building the right system so whatever the buildings uh, we have uh, built the system is this right or not so for that we have this testing techniques functional testing system test testing performance testing usability testing what we have uh, discussed already in the previous videos so here are the work first of all we do white box testing on that uh, that mostly developer does so that is completed they release the product we do functional testing and unit testing and integration testing we integrate the component and do the testing then we do whole system testing and then we do user acceptance test. so those all things are comes into validation this thing we are doing once the product is developed so after this we mark the product as finished like okay this is done so now question is so why it is confusing like if you go through this terminology now after this much uh, information you have you can say like whatever we are doing during the uh, product is developed it is verification what is after developed it is validation that's all but this is not the straight forward because while doing the validation also we are doing verification right so most of the time when we are doing system testing we check like the requ whatever the requirement was it is the same or not so this comes in both like so those are the things for inspection those are the things uh, is done during verification also and once after uh, it is done we do again with validation also so when software tester start testing once the product is delivered to him so he executes the code he do he does that uh, again uh, uh, system testing that time he again do the, the static analysis like whatever the Think they uh, have uh, like product manager or client has uh, told which we are doing or not. So those things are we are doing and we again seeing like if nothing is this right. So that is why this getting confusing. So the regression system test beta testing we do during validation also and uh, during verification also. Uh, this unit test integration test automation testing. are being developed during the verification but it keeps on executing so during validation also it gets executed and we are checking that so customer acceptance test usability test those are also gray areas those can be done use during verification also like something is being developed so we check customer will accept this or not or this is usability wise we check on the documentation or diagram or mirror if this will be this will flow will be correct or not so those are interlapping sometimes so whenever interview uh, ask this so don't get confused in this like uh, they properly ask when we do system test or when we do static analysis so you tell like we do static analysis due to verification only so he asked like once the product is developed won't you check that he, whatever the customer has told we are actually developing that or not so you get confused that type and you forgot what was verification what was validation so Uh, keep in mind so there are the things that can be done during validation also and verification also so don't get confused that and uh, make sure like only things we need to conclude is whatever we are doing before or while building the product is verification once product is developed and ready for testing whatever testing steps we are doing is validation so that's it uh, so thank you guys if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask in the comment please like and share the video subscribe this channel and follow us on the social media so if you 
share our social media pages is full of software testing memes so you will enjoy that links are in the description so thank you